Hamı hamı ge assalamu alaikum azla kanalım ge hoş gelipsiz. Bu videoyum yana bir hoş haberli videolarımdan biri. Çünkü bu videoyumda ben sizler bilen okulçularım erişken gütüklerden yana biri bilen buluşmak için. Bu video dersimde demek biz American English kursunda okuyan, yani Amerika Koşma Şatları da yaşayotken okuçlarım okuyan kursdan imtihan eden doğru rağı bir misal boladı. Yani şu okuçlarım kurs devamı da okuyup uzlaştırgan bilimleri de bu ağı bol işin giz mümkün. Bu yılda ham kattık sudit kılış mümkünmez. Çünkü bu koçlar hem kısa muda dağımda, mana şu neticelerde erişken. Asasen bu kursta biz aynı mana şu American Idioms bilen tanıştık. Çünkü bu arada bir gemi bolsengiz filmlerde, koçlarda hatta bu filmlerde İngilizler yani Americans. Amerika'daki İngilizleri de yapışır gelirler. Herkı yapılarını yapışırdı. Yani bir yap ayda da. Lekin o, onu sözme söz tercüme kıladık yani bolsengiz. O, umman başka mananı bildirdi. Onlar bolsa, o, umman başka mananı nazarda tutuşken bolışırdı. Ve kopucu bu, bana şu, idioms, slangs, işletilgen de roy verirdi. Ve yani ki siz, American English ne organak eken siz, Aynen, bana şu idioms, slangs, American English ne? <gülüyor> organ çengiz gerek olaydı. Yani umumi İngiliz dilini organ gerekiz bu yerde yeterli emas azizler. Ve alhamdulillah bana şu kıska muddat içi de okuçlarım okup, cüdağım çıralı neticelerimi koyge kırıp çıştı. Ve albette bu kursda ham dikkat bilen, iştiyak bilen okup, Cüdeyem yakışı neticelerini korsatken okuçlar var. Biraz boşluk, ucu ciddi olmasından. Fakat yine ders bilen çeker alanıp kalıp okuyan okuçlar ham var azizler. Bunda neticelerden o zingiz, koruşu ingiz mümkün boladı. Fakat videoda etibar kılsengiz, min oğazlarını biraz ozgartırdım. Çünkü bazı uçlar <gülüyor> durmuş ortakları yani rastırak <gülüyor> yani bu kursta ilgiler fakat ayol kişi bol geldiği uçun onların ovazlarını doğrudan doğru kursa çıkışını makul edip topmadım ve onların ovazlarını biraz oz geldim şu sebeple biraz galet ruh ovazları eşitlerdi yani muhumu siz bu evde nümet ediyotken, kanda ediyotken, bu kamasını çınasız albette ve bir marat korup baxa berşiniz mumfu bole gizle. Demek ki intihanımızın videosunu koruşun. Başlayın. Eğer makul kelsin albette like tutmasını başlayın. Unutmayın siz de ümit kalama. Hala ham kanalımda abone olun eğer bolsengiz albette subscribe tutmasını başlayın. Unutmayın arayızlar. Ok? Tamam şakalarınız. Okay. Hello, Zayn. Hello. Hi. Today's topic. Today's topic is about idioms. Idioms are natural phrases commonly used by native speakers. When we study English, we want to sound as natural as possible, as close to native speakers as possible. For example, if you say someone has cold feet, it doesn't mean their toes are actually cold. Rather, it means they are nervous about something. Yes. Since the main topic is American idioms, our presentation will focus more on them one or another way. We will start with presenting some similar and opposite idioms 
that we found from the book which is given. We are also going to talk about idioms that we like it and idioms that we heard from English serials or moves. At the end, we prepared a very interesting subject. We are going to have a debate with each other. In this debate, we have already chosen a provocative topic, which you will get to know a little later in our presentation. So let's start with similar idioms that we found. Okay, so how you can see, uh, we find the top dollar similar with cost and arm and leg, which means put idea idioms are about a large sum of money. The second one, God cannot similar with give someone the X, which means to get cannot means to lose a job. Also, we can see run out of the similar sold out. Uh, when sometimes something left less, we can say run out of. For example, we run out of milk. The difference sold out means completely ended. Next one, the point in similar with beside the point. Something is pointless like worthless. Last one, uh, go wrong, mess up. They are similar. Uh, which means a fair like to make a mistake or a bad decision. Next one, make a splash, similar with take by storm, to quickly become very successful or popular. Okay, also, give it one's best shot, with uh, similar hanging day. Do one's best, knock oneself out. All idioms is about try very hard as much as possible, much as possible. Next one, um, live from hand to mouth. Now, similar with make ends meet. Idioms means uh, to not have enough money for something extra, but extra, but only for living, like having financial problems. And uh, next one. Um, Full around, similar with uh, slack off. Both idioms means, for example, when we spend time on things that are not vital. Uh, vital, it means uh, not impo important. Mm. Next one, uh, lose one's temper, similar with uh, rant and trip. Someone who is very angry and lost his or her patience and talk very loudly. Mm, next one, when pigs fly, well, similar with paper dream, mm, when pigs fly and paper dream have similar meaning, mm, something unrealistic, as we know, pigs cannot fly, so it means something will never happen. Uh, okay, uh, last one, pitch in, um, with, similar with lend a hand. And uh, the last one is pitch in and uh, lend a hand means to help to someone. We also uh, found an uh, opposite idiom. And first one, cheer someone up. Opposite with get on one's nerves. Cheer someone up, it means uh, to make someone happy. And get on one's nerves. Uh, it means to annoy or irritable someone. Next, uh, brown, brown noise. Uh, opposite with cold shoulder. Brown noise means to try to, to show oneself to someone and through that uh, win that person favor. Cold shoulder means to ignore someone. And uh, over one's head, opposite with chart at the top. Over one's head means uh, someone has difficulty, difficulties uh, to understand something. And chart at the top means, means someone is very intelligent and smart. And we also um, found an uh, idiom that we like. And for example, goody goody, such persons are as brown noisers as we explained before. But the difference is 
everybody person and we will pretend to be a red mark one in the front of front of uh, authority person like a teacher or boss uh, i mean one who tries to show off and next uh, when to fly uh, we have already known about the idiom and um, next uh, chit chat uh, it means casual conversation uh, which can be gossip and discuss uh, about not important things next uh, easier said that done. It's difficult to do, to do when say it. And cup of tea. Often used by negative meaning, uh, like she is not my cup of tea, it which means someone that I don't like or don't prefer. Yes, uh, let's continue with overused idioms, which we found in English uh, serials. Uh, Orders. Yes, what's up? Uh, means how are you? What are you doing? And so on. Come on. Uh, come on have different meanings. Uh, um, it can mean that if I will say come on, it can be um, someone encourage uh, uh, uh, uh, that I try to encourage to someone uh, to do something or not. Or uh, come on can also mean that hurry up. Uh, yes. Uh, what's the ma what's the matter? Uh, is synonym with uh, what's the problem? Uh, and this uh, uh, question used when someone looks sad, and another one asks about her or his problems. And never mind. Uh, it means uh, everything is okay. Uh, don't mind. <laughs> and so on. And way to go uh, is similar with good work. Uh, and uh, the last one that we heard uh, very often is out of this world. Uh, it means something is really delicious or too tasty and or both of them. Yes. Now we have done with comparing idioms and we are going to start with the past debate uh, and explain our position about that if the media need to be legal or not. Okay, yes. so start. Uh, I absolutely think if the media needs to be legal. I support your opinion because I also think it's one of the human rights to decide when or uh, he or she wants to die. That's no right. Euthanasia cannot be one of the human rights since it's about killing someone through giving the lethal dose of medicine. Do you get the message? You are missing the boat. Euthanasia requires permission from every patient, so that is why it is human right. Got the point? And that's unthinkable. No one can waste their life because every life is an opportunity given by Allah. Only Allah has the right to take our souls, not people. Do you see where I'm coming from? You are barking a wrong tree. Listen to me carefully now. For example, if a person paralyzed except his or her mind, so that person can't move at all. That means he or she can't enjoy life as we do. Besides, taking care of such a person is too difficult for sure. As a matter of fact, to be sick is one of two. It's an exam or punishment from God. That is why we have to, uh, to be patient. Get my drift? In any case, that you've got it all wrong. We are not talking about the religion now. Uh, some health organizations understand their bad situation. Mm, you mean like mm, doctors feel certain how these people feel bad and now know that they are not interested to live more and feed up of their illness? Absolutely not. 
It is not a respirator. Doctors have to try to save lives, not people. Also, they should give positive hope for the future. Okay, for example, um, as you know, some doctors gave hope and supported their patients. So, they were in the pink of health. Am I making sense? Mm, you know, that's not always true. There are such cases in oncology when doctors uh, give a pipe dream to their patients to live. But during surgery, they found out that the surgery would be in vain. So they stopped it. After it, patients had terrible pain, even morphine couldn't help them. So girls, how do you feel about that? If you ask me, it's very hard to speak and hear about such cases. But we really hope one day the health organization will reduce this deadly method of helping patients. And they will come up with uh, a cure for all types of diseases. Of course, except aging. As we know from our religion, there is healing for everything except aging. Now, we have to defend all types of human rights. And if not, is one of them. Because you can't feel the person without being in the shoes, you know, you will never know how terrible and depressed they feel. So they really want to die, for sure it's not easy to decide it, but they do, and it shows us how strong they are. Do you hear me? Save your breath. Hope we'll always exist until we take our breath and hope dies last. Allah gives not more than you can handle. It means he knows you are strong enough for handling it, even with painful diseases. Disease solving problems through time will happen when pigs fly, because taking holy life will have led to painful punishment in the ahara. Do you follow me? Okay, okay. Calm down. Right now, it's only a debate. We can make the conclusion conclusion that every person has his or her own way to solve the problems in hard times. And here we can stop our debate. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was the end of our presentation. And <laughs> we want to mention that on Saturday we really made you in a bad mood. Uh, that's why we burned the midnight oil. With this group uh, work, uh, so we didn't sleep a wink uh, and gave it our best shot. We tried to deliver the goals and hope we are not beside the point. Of course, we really hope that uh, we could cheer you up today. Thank you very much, dear teacher. Wow, okay, so.